Today I will be showing you how to install OpenCV4 and use it with Xcode as well as some issues you might have with video and web, uh, webcam streams with OpenCV. So let's get started. First step is installing Homebrew. Homebrew is a package manager for Mac OS. Um, it's super useful in a whole range of different situations, not just OpenCV, but we are going to be using it to install OpenCV itself. So if you don't already have it installed, simply copy this command and then bring up your terminal, which is over here, um, and just copy and paste that command right in. So when you copy it in, just press enter and it will install Homebrew. I already have Homebrew installed, so there's really no reason for me uh, to do that, so I'm not going to. But once it's installed, you'll be able to actually install OpenCV itself. So to, op to install OpenCV, simply type brew install OpenCV, um, and this is gonna tell Homebrew to install OpenCV. Now it doesn't matter which version you're on, whether you're on version four, which or 4.3.0, which is what I'm currently filming with, or if you're far in the future and you're on version 20, doesn't matter, this will install the latest version of OpenCV. So again, I already have it installed, so I'm not going to, but just press enter um, and you will install it. So it might take a little while depending on your internet speed and other stuff. Um, but once it finishes up, you're ready to enter Xcode. So open Xcode and start a new project. So click down here and you'll see lots of different options of what kind of projects you want to build. Um, navigate under Mac OS to command line tool and this is gonna allow you to actually use OpenCV in Xcode. So click next, give it a name, so I'm gonna give it the name test, uh, and then select your language. So for, C, or for OpenCV, I'm going to be using C++, um, and simply press next, and select a destination. I'll just use my desktop for now. And we're ready to start, start working. So the first step is including whatever dynamic libraries your specific OpenCV code needs. Now, if you don't know what libraries your code needs at this moment. For example, if you're new to OpenCV and you just wanna start writing code, um, then I'll show you how to include everything. But if you already have code that you wanna run that you've written somewhere else or you got from somewhere else and you just wanna run it with streamlined dynamic libraries, I'll also show you. Um, so just right click up here on the name of your project and then press add files to test. And this is going to be the actual dynamic libraries, which uh, this project will end up referencing. So type forward slash USR and notice when you press forward slash, it automatically brings up this little search bar. So do forward slash user slash local slash seller slash OpenCV. And this is going to bring you to the directory where you just installed OpenCV. So when you press go, you should see a folder with the version of OpenCV you just installed. Again, for me it's 4.3.0, for you it might be 4.3.0 or something else, it doesn't really matter. Click into it and you'll see a whole host of different files and folders and whatnot. Um, for now, for this specific step, all we care about is lib. So click into lib and you'll see all these dynamic libraries. Now these are the specific libraries you are going to use in your project or you'll see in a moment the non-specific ones if you just select all of them. So for example, if I was doing a project that just an OpenCV project that just used uh, stuff from Xphoto, for example, all I would do is select this Xphoto. Now notice there are four right here, which all are named Xphoto. The only one you wanna select if you're going to use Xphoto is the latest 4.3.0 or whatever version you're using. So ignore 4.3, ignore the one without the version number, um, and ignore this one as well. So all you want is, uh, not both, you just want this one. So as I mentioned earlier, if you don't really know which ones you need or want, just select all of them. So I'm gonna go through and select each and every of the most recent ones for each kind of system. So I selected the most recent X photo version, most recent X object, detect uh, x image proc. So I'm gonna go through and select each one. 
Um, obviously, this is not super ideal if you're trying to make your code run fast and streamlined, but uh, again, if you don't really know what you need, then this is a great way to sort of have everything already there. All right, so I just finished selecting each and every of the most recent version of each of the OpenCV dynamic libraries. So I selected a number of them, or a lot of them, I should say, or all of them. Um, and then I'm just going to add them. Make sure you have your uh, target selected as the name of whatever project you're working on, and then just press add. And you should see them come in. Now, again, if you selected all of them like me, then you'll see lots of them load in. If you only selected the one specific to your project, then you'll only see however many you selected load in. Great. Next step is uh, telling your Xcode where to actually look for your header files. So select test or whatever the name of your project is, and then click over into build settings and make sure you have all and combine selected just to make sure you're searching everything and then search header search paths. And this is going to tell again Xcode where it should be looking when it's searching for these reference dynamic libraries. So uh, under this first row, header search paths, go over to the right side. Um, so sort of over past this middle line and just sort of double click and you'll see this menu pop up. Uh, and this is going to be the directory where all of your um, sort of where all of your files are. So to find this, simply open Finder. There we go. And here, I'll make a new window. And I'm going to go to Command Shift G, and then the same place we were before. So remember, we came here before, um, but instead of going into lib, right, we're going to go into include. So again, that was user local seller open CV. And then we got to here. Um, and in, instead of going into lib, we're just going into include. So when you click into include, you're going to see whatever version you have. So currently I have OpenCV4, so I see OpenCV4. But this is where it gets a little weird because when you click into OpenCV4, you have another folder called OpenCV2. And then once you click into here, you'll see all your files. Um, but what you don't actually want to do is click OpenCV2. You want to go one level up. Now, if this is weird and confusing, um, just sort of ignore everything you are hearing. Um, all you need to know is that you want to find the folder which is directly listed under include. So for example, in my case, it's OpenCV4. If you're running OpenCV6, it's going to be OpenCV6. Um, and to find the direct or the path to this specific folder, um, simply pull out terminal. And what you can do is actually drag this folder into terminal and it'll reveal the directory or the location of it. Um, so I'm not running any commands. I'm simply just trying to find where this folder is located. So I'm going to copy that command C. Um, and then I'm going to pull on back to Xcode. And so just as a quick recap, I went back into that folder we were in before, which is located in user local seller OpenCV. And I went in to include this time and selected OpenCV4 or whatever version you are currently running. And then I copied that path using terminal. So I'm going to return to Xcode and click this plus button and then copy and paste that directory in and just press return. Uh, and then finally come over here and press recursive. This will allow it to actually search into OpenCV2 um, and search through folders. That really doesn't matter. Just make sure it's selected. Great. So now all of these are referenced. So uh, because I included all of them, now basically all of OpenCV is included. So I can come in here, for example, and do include OpenCV2 and then something like core.hpp. Oh, I think I misspelled this, OpenCV2, core.hpp. Um, and it's important to notice that when you're referencing the files, you don't want to just do like core.hpp. You always have to type OpenCV2 slash core.hpp. Um, and that's sort of an artifact of the structuring of how you install OpenCV. Um, so if I wanted to install, I don't know, X features 2D, I would simply do include OpenCV2 slash X 
features, and you can even see it already recommends it, X features 2.hpp, and then just close that off. Cool, so we've included it. Um, and just to prove that it actually works, I will simply create a map called test. Um, and when we run it, we should be successful. And there we go, we saw it succeeded. Hello world, it created the mat, everything's good. So if that's all you wanted to do, great, that's the end of the video, but stick with it if you plan on doing any sort of live video or um, taking photos with your webcam because Xcode can actually run into privacy issues where um, Xcode and Mac will refuse your code from actually accessing the camera. And this can be a little tricky, but it's super easy to solve if you just sort of follow these next steps. So right here, I have some simple code which I wrote, which basically opens a video stream. Uh, it's nothing complicated. It just sort of opens it up. So you'll notice all of these sort of issues. That's just with because I copied into a text document. That doesn't matter at all. Uh, but basically, when I run it, you'll see it says succeeded, but we're going to get an error down here. What is this error? Well, it's basically OpenCV telling you that your code is not allowed to access your camera. Um, and you'll see right here, specifically NS camera usage description is not filled in. Um, again, that's just a simple, uh, fancy way of telling you that you don't have permission to access the camera. So to solve this, we're gonna need to add something called info.plist. And I will pull up an example one right now. All right, so I created this info.plist file. Um, you'll be able to get this from the description down below. Uh, but basically what this is, is this is a simple file that tells your Xcode that it's okay for you to actually access the camera. Um, so again, I will leave this down below and you can simply download it and use it yourself. And just to make sure you know what you're running, all it is is it's that key, that issue we were talking about before down here. Um, and then some simple, basically a string that allows it to actually work. So now that we have this info.plist downloaded, um, we can come back over to the, the sort of browser right here um, and click under products. And you should see an executable uh, with the name of whatever project you're using. Uh, right click on it and then press show in finder. Once you've done this, you should see the executable underneath debug. And this is what you want. Drag that downloaded info.plist. You don't have to edit it or do whatever. It's already formatted. Just drag it right in there and boom. So there you go. So when we come back here, we'll stop our code from before uh, and run it again. And you should see a pop-up asking permission for you to use the camera. So you can sort of ignore that, just press okay. Um, and then you usually have to restart it. Now it's important for me to note before I'm running it, uh, I'm using my Mac, or my laptop, which is face down, so the webcam isn't actually turned on. But if you have a webcam plugged in, um, you should be able to see it. So obviously mine is black because it's pointing at itself. Um, but if I flip it up, you should see, I'll close it again. Um, um, it's just gonna crash because I, I closed my lid and it doesn't like that. Um, but if you're using an external camera, that shouldn't be a problem at all. Um, but yeah, I hope that helped. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will do my best to answer them. Um, and yeah, I hope that helped. Thank you.